Greetings, episode 159. Uh, so for those who are sort of uh, new to the our small but <laughs> enthusiastic gang, <laughs> um, 39 of you now, Whoa, 39 subscribers, impressive numbers. Um, yes, this is uh, an Empire Total War with the Darth mod. Uh, mod? Hmm, <laughs> funny enough. We're also playing with a Bran McBorn sub mod, which is a, a deliberate tweak to the Darth mod. He's very he's sub modded all sorts of the Empire Total War games. Um, we have additional unit mods in, which provide us with, funny enough, additional units, various shapes and forms. Um, some of the DLC downloadable content, if that's gobbledygook, such as the 33rd foot. Um, I think that's about the structure of the game, really. Plains Great Britain, as you can see. In terms of the world stage, we are fabulous as it stands. So, yeah. basically, the white shit is us. Um, Austria have that little region up there. The rest of India is white. Austria have that annoyingly little region up there. America is white, um, and we have, apart from the British Isles, of course, most of the Western Seaboard, the whole of North Africa. And we're at war with the Ottoman Empire, which, curiously, are the only people who actually like us. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? Yes, 100 plus 190 for a military alliance that we obviously don't have because we're at war with them. I'll get fucked then. Well, basically, it's free reign, really, isn't it? I mean, everybody fucking hates us. Austria mildly dislike us. Territorial expansion being the main issue. <laughs> anyway, whatever. We don't care. Um, yeah, trade. At the moment we've got a bit of trade going on, not much. Poland being the main one, should probably try and keep them happy really. Let's see if we can do anything. Let's give them a state gift. Yes. We'll refresh that. They're just unfriendly now, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> uh, is it worth fighting around with any of the others? They're all pretty miffed in one way or another, aren't they? Let's give you a state gift as well. Have some china. Drink lots of tea. It's the British way, so... Let's introduce you to the British way. Mm, okay. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> uh, we just did them, didn't we? Um, don't really care about the others. Actually, no, nah, fuck it. I lost interest already. It is what it is. It's too late in the game to be fannying around with nasties. Um, so Damascus is done. Russia, you can bugger off. This is ours. Get thee away from thy port. Yes. Um, let's just do this bit of nonsense. This is probably massive overkill. Yeah, 611. Uh, <coughs> so two units of bollocks. That can't be pronounce that way surely maybe they've just chosen the unit for the comedy value uh, and some diminished cavalry so a couple of bollocks and a few cavalry <laughs> sorry can resist <laughs> and these bits of nonsense to us on a plate don't they <laughs> might think about growing up one day but not, not just yet not not really too just yet Schoolboy humour. Can't beat it. <laughs> Although that said, it probably doesn't exist anymore. Because all the schoolboys are too interested in being grown-ups. Wait till you grow up, boys. You'll think, fuck, I wish I'd have stayed a kid. It was much more fun. Anyway, it's enough about that. 
<laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's, uh, I think the Cargan on Highlander came up with a version of that. Presumably that's why they got it. It's better to burn out than to fade away. And I'm sure George Whitefield at the end of that said Ra as well. Well, he must have done. You would, wouldn't you? Um, 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 um. To the first and the first and the first. I'm just going to put shitloads of stakes out, just in case the cavalry are stupid enough to charge at me. Yes, do -do 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 -do. And in the meantime, our men, we will put them over there. Because the object of this exercise is to kill their fucking lot. So, cavalry wide please. Let's not fart around with this one gentlemen. Let's get to it. To the ghastly business of the day. Excellent, they're not attacking, that makes a good change. Because why would you? The cavalry can go out wider. 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 You're in danger of running into your own bloody stakes, are you? Your own horse racks. Hmm. It's a mental cacophony of music, isn't it, when they're all blowing the pipes, fifes and drums and, and the bowl rats. A little bit pacey there boys. Shoulders are a bit slumped over here. I think you need a break, don't you? Got a little job for you on the way home. Just pop into one of those cities over yonder and uh, give it a bit of a paint job, will you? Jiggling about a bit, well, not really much, but a bit of jiggery jiggery going on there. Good, you're out of range. Good, you're out of range. Well, one! I'm not on bloody holiday yet. It might be a bit too close. Just put it back a bit.
that. Good. Nice bit of crossfire going on. Grenades. Like what you got there. <laughs> Got sound effects. That is a pretty fucking good trap, eh? Penned. Quick, some marmalade's getting away. Oh no, they're not. Don't worry. Bit like that order. Hmm. Why are you at a strange angle then, young man? Oh, these are the bollocks, aren't they? What do you know they've got exactly? God, the thing is, that exploded then, didn't it? Like firing the bollocks. They're not effective bollocks, aren't they? They've got their own trees. It's not for that. Continue because we need to kill them all. Are there any over that side? No, they're not. I'm gonna worry about them. I'm gonna worry about them. We have got to worry about a lot of bollocks. Alright, charge the bollocks. Shaw has cut the bollocks down in his prime. Don't go and park in the horse rack. That really would not be a fitting ending to such a long and distinguished career. Dying on a horse rack while you're killing a bollock. No. Wouldn't want that on your headstone, now would you? Hmm. Humana. Right, that should be the end of them anyway. I hope. Make ready. Good man yourself. Oh. He's only 41. Oh boy, I was under the impression he was older. Sir. Mm. You have a long march through the wilderness ahead of you. 40 days and 40 nights, probably. Ah. I'm here all week. Ta -da -ta. Who have we here? Ah, yes. As you can see, Roy's Welsh Fusiliers. I didn't have quite enough one character short for Royal. If they were the second foot or, or the ninth foot even, that would be all right. Very inconsiderate. I did do Welsh rather than Welsh all the way along, didn't I? Yes. Uh, na, 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 na. Yes, sir. 
There will be Mr. Arthur Hookie. With what is to become the 6th Scottish Brigade. I don't really know where you're going to go. Where are you going to go? Where are we going to send you? I do need to think about doing that, don't I really? I've got two brigades operating in the northern area. They're going to need some help. There's a lot of regions there, all told. That's the Ottoman forces, apart from a very small group, thinned out there. Thinned out? Destroyed is more like it. There are no more. Sending the Indians off over there. I've got, have I got cannon in this lot somewhere? Yeah, I've got some cannon for the okay, wall. Ready. Orders, no howitzers, though. Ready for orders. <sighs> okay. Interesting. Ready and awaiting orders. Didn't really think about that, did I? No wall. Ooh. Get there and get there quickly. Outstanding. No wall. That makes life a little bit easier. I've got some cannon over there and you've got shitloads of muskets. And horses. Um, got any special buildings here? Oh, you probably did this the other day. Yeah. Whatever. Alright, got to decide where to, how to jiggle things along from here on in. So we're going to need two brigades really to campaign up there to so it doesn't get painful but if I send two if I send two over there they have got access to the Black Sea ports. Might be easier to land them on the Black Sea coast. What do we think? And one, get him into Armenia and Georgia, Chechnya. Two brigades there, the Indians over there. I need at least one more here. Could do it with less, but it will drag on. So, we have... Metcalf's 3rd Brigade is in the process of being formed. Hook is 6th Brigade. Immediately. I think... Forward! For orders! March! March! Anything more? Make ready! March! Sir, your orders? Ready for orders. Make Waiting ready. for orders. Fine. Your Majesty. Oh, that didn't do too bad. Uh, my policing bonus things. Ready and waiting for orders. Fine. Waiting for orders. Give you a bit of a hand. Well, I haven't said that. Now you're not actually going to need it, are you? Because they're going to be fine next turn when everything's rebuilt. Sir. So we'll just keep them happy until then. Anything more? Yes, my lord. Until then, the Scots can take a rest. By the left. March. Close enough. Yes. Uh, yes, we have ships. Ships Fuck off out of the way, you're orders. blocking my sight. I paid a lot of money for this expensive harbour view. So the Scots are off. Set sail. Jump to it. Can I release the Irish? Ready and waiting. I already have. Ready for orders. We'll have a Celtic festival. Right, 
right, so if I do that, there's two turns to get to there, on board a ship, over, da da da. Quicker to get him down onto a boat, isn't it? Who are the others? Was it then? Yes, right. Garen Gunny's bodies. Yes, my lord. Mac Carth run out of steam. By the left, your Mac Carth hasn't, Majesty. but his bods have. Take ready. So we got three. Yes, There's this heavy cavalry. Great. Men, forward, the Lord. Yep. So those and those Sir. form Garingan's guard brigade. You can just go over there. What? Metcalf, Sir. you'll be joined by yes, my lord. the Fuzzils, the Ready Fuzzy Leers, and your cavalry. I buggered them up, didn't I? Did Orders, I do something? Captain. They're still over there. Sir, you're on. Make ready. Yeah, there's your cavalry. Okay, so everything's in hand. Hmm. <laughs> as much as it can be. That's everything in this part of the world, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. So we're looking now at this part of the world. First Brigade from memory. Yep. Rain's first brigade campaigning up here. Lordship moving. Oh, you've already done your shit for the day, haven't you? Um, At your service. Another devilish rake sort of a chap. Watching your enemies. Moving to a new position. Got anyone else to assassinate? Yeah, I guess Set next time we'll get the aliens. He says ambitiously. Mm, another wall that we'll end up shooting high at. So we'll they get the aliens into Istanbul. Now they've got their very nice shiny new building. That thing. Prestige, because we ain't got enough prestige already. We only have that much. <laughs> Which one is it? all of them isn't it? Of course it is. So yes, we only have over twice the amount of our nearest rival. And I think that's a pretty poor show. Uh, oh yes, we haven't landed them, have we? Run out the gun. By the left. Fuck. That'll annoy him. We can move the, the Persian Defence Force up to defend the border against the Russians, then. I think, basically, that's... I think that's this turn done, isn't it? Nothing else I can do or need to do. Not really a huge amount of point in doing anything with that. I don't really want that either. I get rid of Pasha's palace. I guess I'll only end up building one of my government buildings there anyway. And I would imagine that Stable enough. That gives a big military bonus, which I don't need, because I'm not doing military research in this part of the world. It's all being done in England. Plus three. Uh, okay. 
So if I destroy that, they're going to get grumpy. Oh well, they'll get over it, I hear you say. Quite right too. What are you grumbling about? Oh, probably because I'm doing all the research there, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got four of them, four actually 32. So basically if I had no universities in England that would be Zilcho, wouldn't it? And they'd all be happy and fine and fluffy, but they're not. So if I were, okay, looking ahead, I can't do anything else this turn, so I'm just going to think out loud for a minute. So looking ahead, when the time comes that everybody's going to kick off at me, I'm going to lose 72,000, so I'm still going to end up with, although tax, that will drop as well. I'm still going to end up in profit based on the current structure. And I've got research going on that's going to allow me to upgrade the ports. I think it's that one, isn't it? There she blows. Yeah. So that'll be alright. If I can just hold off everybody from becoming my enemy until for a while. Um, get all those ports built, so it's going to be quite a few turns until I get there of course. Except that. Um, that will give us the chance to get through just on taxing our fantastically enormous empire. Quick defence check. I have a defence force between the units in this area that can either move north to repel the initial assault from Austria or south if somebody lands, tries to land a force around here. They've also got enough movement range to get on a ship and sail somewhere else. I have enough of a force hodgepodge, but enough of a force here. <sighs> and be no Imagine use at all really. Um, yeah, I have enough going on here to be able to defend the homeland I think and I think basically we're in obviously good shape but I think everything's all the pieces are in the right area too so I'll wrap this one up and be back for I'll be 160 wouldn't it next time Christ be back for 160 next time alright see you soon bye